Okay, so today we're looking at another leak, this time about Intel's upcoming 9000 series processors, specifically the i9-9900K, which is supposed to be the flagship of the upcoming 9000 series. Eight cores, 16 threads if you haven't heard about that. Uh, maximum rumored boost clock up to 5 GHz with a base clock rumored to be at 3.6 GHz and supposed to cost about $450. That's big news coming from Intel, so let's take a look at this most recent recent leak, which is a 3D Mark leak, and compare that to Team Red. So first off, hat tip to WCCF Tech for this most recent rumor. Um, this is mostly, like I said, about the 9900K though. Uh, just to give a quick overview of the entire 9000 series, it tops out with the eight core 16 thread 9900K, then drops down to an eight core eight thread chip, the 9700K, core i5 9600K, six cores, six threads, and then it goes on down to four cores and four threads. What's interesting about the rumored 9000 series here is that we're not seeing hyper threading in anything up until the 9900K, which is a really strange move from Intel to sort of do that with their upcoming lineup, if that is in fact what they're planning on doing. Though again, these are completely just rumors at this point. We haven't heard anything official from Intel, so take everything in this chart uh, with a grain of salt. Now, before we actually look at the CPU score for this TimeSpy 1.0 benchmark run, it is worth pointing out a few different things about the processor configuration of this benchmark. The 9900K here is running at 3.1 gigahertz base clock. Now, that may or may not end up being an important factor. If we go back to the leaked spreadsheet here, the leaked uh, specs rather, um, at eight cores, it's rumored the 9900K could boost up to 4.7 gigahertz on its own. So just because we're running at 3.1 gigahertz doesn't really mean that we're gonna see a big jump in performance if uh, in the final retail samples it jumps to 3.6 gigahertz base clock because if all those cores are staying cool enough to boost up to 4.7 gigahertz in the first place, it's not necessarily likely that we'll see um, any real difference in the end score. Now, where you may see a difference is if you decide to overclock this chip on your own because it is rumored that the uh, die and the IHS are gonna be soldered together on both the 9700 and 9900K. And if that holds true, these chips should actually overclock quite well as long as you have good cooling. Now, if in the benchmark run here, they whoever was running this had really solid cooling on these chips, it's likely that those uh, scores won't change much between now and the final retail sample, unless you're willing to go ahead and manually overclock to something more like five gigahertz on all eight cores. Now, the other thing to point out before we hop back up to the scores is these tests seem to be run on a Z370 board here, meaning if you already own a Z370 board, you're likely gonna be able to just flash a BIOS update and then slot in the new 9000 series chip without having to buy a new motherboard altogether, which is a nice change for Team blue. And now getting to the actual CPU score here, the 9900K is coming in at 10,719 compared to roughly 9,042 from the 2700X uh, AMD's top offering for their mainstream lineup. And of course, all benchmarks will have a little bit of variance run to run. So that's about a 16% difference. Obviously, if you're willing to overclock the 2700X to a high degree, you can close that gap a little bit. And on the flip side, if you're willing to overclock your 9900K uh, up to more like five gigahertz, then you'll see that gap expand a little bit. So roughly 16%. It is worth pointing out though, that on price, these two processors won't really be competing with each other that much. The Ryzen 7 2700X right now costs only $330 compared to the rumored cost of the 9900K being $450. So from a price perspective, it really looks a lot more like the 2700X is competing with the 9700K um, from a price perspective only, not looking at core counts and thread counts. It's also worth pointing out that by the time these processors actually launch, and the most recent rumored launch date range that I've seen for the 9000 series is more like quarter four of this year, um, the 2700X will likely be on sale from time to time for even cheaper. And then of course, if you're willing to get just a 2700 and overclock it, you can get those even cheaper yet. 
So price ranges will fluctuate a little bit. It's likely that AMD will adjust its pricing a little bit to reflect um, Intel's competition once the 9000 series actually hits. So those are all things that consumers will have to consider once these chips actually launch. In addition to Zen 2 architecture chips coming out from AMD in the first half of next year, probably somewhere around March or April anyways. So all layers of things to consider for a consumer, maybe yourself that's thinking about upgrading to either a 9000 thousand series chip or possibly an AMD chip in the near future. So of course that's a quick rundown of the leaked benchmark but I'm always curious what you guys think about these types of things. Are you interested in the 9000 series? Which chip are you interested in? Are you really wanting to go for the 9900K or does the 9700K make more sense to you? Maybe you're just a gamer and you just want uh, the cheaper chip with still eight physical cores that you can probably overclock to about five gigahertz anyways. I want to know your perspective. Let us know down below. And as always, if you like the video, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things are very helpful to the channel. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos around me from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.